So I know I've kind of been teasing you guys about showing you what 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 shadow sense is all about. No, shadow sense enunciation is awesome. So first of all, I just want to show you this color I'm wearing here is uh, nutmeg, and it's actually one of my um, favorite ones I've stumbled on. I've got one right now. Um, anyway, so here is what shadow sense looks like in all of its glory. Oh, oh my goodness, looks just like lip sense, except smaller. For instance, here's a gloss. There's little baby shadow senses. Senses? Senses? I don't know. Anyway, so there's a couple of different kinds of shadow sense. There is um, just like the base kind of color. I don't, I don't want to say matte because they're not necessarily completely matte. And then there's like a shimmer version of it. Um, so, for instance, like here is candlelight. There's, oh, I am struggling. You can't read it. It says candlelight. Um, but then there's also like a candlelight shimmer. So it's like the same shade, but it's like just a shimmery, um, well, duh, it's self-explanatory. Anyway, so they all come in this form. So I'll just show you if you open it up. It's kind of like opening up like a gloss. Um, and so this... To <laughs> you know how to do this here. So that's like how it is. It's like a cream, they call it like a cream to powder type thing. So that is candlelight. Um, I also have um, garnet. Let's see. Okay, this is going to be a struggle bus, and so we're not going to do this for super long. <laughs> There's garnet. Um, and I'll show you the versatility of this in a little bit. Um, and then I have other ones. Here is a Mocha Java Shimmer. I'm kind of show you the difference between these guys and what Mocha Java, like what the shimmer does. Hold oh, that way and that way. <laughs> I obviously don't know how to. Um, <laughs> this is so backwards. So you can kind of see the shimmery, but I will show you uh, on myself what it looks like and how you use these. So, first thing I'm going to do is use sandstone pearl. Instant <laughs> can't even talk. Uh, sandstone pearl is a really good base because it can actually, like I've used it before, it's like a concealer um, to put it on and kind of like let it set and then um, rub it in a little bit, make it a little bit less noticeable and then cover it with foundation, makes everything disappear. It's really versatile, really awesome. Um, Anyway, so I take a brush and take the sandstone pearl, and I've got my mirror over here. That's what I'm doing. Um, not neglecting you. And just kind of apply it all over the entire lid. Okay. For all intents and purposes, I'm only going to do one eye because no one wants to sit here and watch me do both eyes because it's literally doing the same thing twice and that's no fun for anybody in this instance. If you're going to like get ready and go out, that's different, but if you're just going to sit and watch me do the exact same thing twice, you're going to turn this video off. So, just doing the same thing again, just kind of spreading it around. So, and you can use a primer under this, um, there's no problem with doing that. So you can kind of see kind of the difference between the eye that I did eye that I didn't do. Yeah? Okay. So moving on now. I want to do um, candlelight. It is similar to sandstone pearl. Sandstone pearl candlelight. <laughs> that whole backwards thing. So it's very similar, just a little bit different than it, though. And I'm actually just going to go kind of um, more in the center of my the lid there. It feels so silly. I did that, like, spoof video of doing makeup tutorials. And this isn't a tutorial. I'm literally just showing you, like, how this crap works because it's really cool. So. So just kind of lightened it up a little bit. 
Now I'm going to take my garnet, which is that really dark, uh, really crooked line on my arm there, you see, and um, do that whole funny crease thing. In my, in my spoof video, I just took this and like painted it on. Um, we're not going to do that. Literally with garnet, you can like take this, take a brush, dab the wand, <laughs> and then um, take like a paper towel that mine has gunk all over it, and like dab it. Oh, hang on, let me do that again. So dab the wand, whoop, and then bloop, like oh, cool, okay, I think that'll be enough for me. Um, and then just go right in your crease or wherever the heck you want to go. I mean, if you want to like paint your cheeks, by all means, knock yourself out, please. Except don't, because if you're knocked out, that's no good. So, kind of see that. I'm no makeup artist, um, but I'm also not in seventh grade. So, um, and with this, while I'm showing you, uh, a lot of people also use this like as a contour kind of thing. So, <laughs> I'm like just laughing because I literally made fun of all of this in my other video. So, if you take it, I do it like on my finger, you can do it on a brush or whatever, and um, so it looks a little more intense right now. So you see that? Like I said, you can use a brush if you'd like. Um, I actually don't have a brush by me right now. I usually will use a brush, but like this works just fine. So, uh, just kind of blend that in a little bit more. one side sucks. So something kind of like that. So garnet is very versatile. And um, actually, so I've got, okay, <laughs> we're going to try this with a brush that I usually won't use. Um, I'll sometimes use it for my eyebrows as well because it is so versatile. So I'm just going to take this and take this end. This is going to be funny. I never used this brush for my eyebrows before. So. Whoop. Just very lightly. Okay. Feels silly. It's like I'm like checking myself out in my <laughs> in the camera here because I'm like trying to just see, um, you know, if it looks the same as what I'm doing here as it does here. So now I'll show you the difference between the two, and then give you a nice close up as well. So before, which I went to work like this today. I have no issue with that. And then after, oh, oh, kitten's got eyebrow. <laughs> Singular eyebrow, that's it. Um, anyway, you can kind of see. All right, are we done looking at me this close? Got red eyes. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> like by the end of this, I should just like, you know, cover this with like a paper bag or something. Because um, it's like, <gasps> before, after. Anyway, so uh, I did the sandstone pearl, the candlelight, the garnet, 
I showed you on my brows. I showed you some contouring with the garnet. It's very versatile, super awesome. I think I said the word versatile probably 800,000 times by now. Um, no, I can't count, obviously, because that's wrong. Um, but I wanted to show you now some of the shimmer stuff. So I'm going to take the Mocha Java Shimmer. Mocha Java Shimmer, oh my god. I should, I should just move to California and live on the beach. <laughs> my computer just, like, the screen turned off because it was done with this, obviously. Um, I feel like one of those girls I make fun of, and did make fun of, so whatever, that's fine. You know what? Own it. I'm owning it. This is fun. This is a hobby. I go to work and save lives, do smart things and stuff, and then I come home and, like, play with my face, so. Um, anyway, so I'm just taking uh, the wand on this, just because these are so new as well, that if I were to dab up here, there's so much product on there that it would... Um, it would just, it would be a mess. So I'm just going to take it and kind of just like put it um, in my crease where I put that garnet. A garnet, I say it as though it's like some precious stone that I've like, you know, placed on my eyelid. Like, don't you dare touch. It's, it's my garnet. It's mine. Okay, so you can kind of see how that is, um, and then, you know, like I said, I've got other colors too. There's like the silver violet color that's kind of fun. There's the silver, silver shine, um, it's kind of fun to go together, but if this is more of like a, um, hi, I'm a professional, and I'm an educated person, and I went to college, and I have a degree, and, uh, I want you to take me seriously kind of look. Almost. Almost this. So, um, so one last thing. So, kind of, like, when you do all this fun stuff, I don't really love how this will, like, kind of take off <laughs> and, like, try and spread onto my cheekbones. So, I'm actually just going to uh, take my sandstone pearl again and uh, just kind of clean that up a little bit. Um, so, sandstone pearl is great for a few other things as well. Besides this business... So, and then also I'm going to do just like a hair up on my brow bone. I believe that's the technical term for it. And then, I mean, why not put some right here. For funsies, right? No, this is all for fun. If you like stuff like this, do it. It's fun. If you don't like it, don't do it. Don't waste your time. Go do something that you like to do. Life's too short to do things that you don't like to do, except for things that you have to do, because you have to do them. Anyway, so uh, that's kind of it for the eyeshadow that I was showing you. And now that, let's see, these on my wrist are kind of dry, I can show you. There we go. I'll get this right one day. I'm a liar. I did those so darn thick. <laughs> um... I feel like I'm somehow wearing it on my body right now. But uh, I'll just show you. So I've got the eye sense. It's like the black eyeliner that's super, super awesome. So it's just a liquid eyeliner. Brush looks like. There we go. My knees! I'll put my white face in the dress for it. So I actually have my eyeliner. You can see on this eye that I don't have the eyeshadow on. I actually have my eyeliner, not tattooed, it's like soft tap. Um, it's like a permanent or mostly permanent cosmetic. Uh, it hurt like a bitch. I said it. I <laughs> don't think I'll ever have it done again. I don't know. It's really nice to have it there. But it hurt so bad that I had to have the lady stop and like I had to like take deep breaths because it was, I don't know if the lidocaine just didn't numb my eye up enough or what. The lidocaine burned and then it was like literally poking a needle right on your eye, your eye, your lash line. So this stuff, what I've been doing since I have had it is basically just going back over that line um, that I have permanently done just to add in that definition and make it more bold instead of just, um, I don't even know what my sentence is. That's the end. So, 
Oh, because the, like on this, the eyeshadow kind of just covered up the whole thing. You can see the difference. <laughs> I'll get centered eventually. It's like a metaphor for my life. Like, I'll get centered eventually. But you know what? Enjoy the ride. It's a process to enjoy it. You can kind of see that. I'm just going to leave it at that. <gasps> anyway, okay. So obviously the end of the day. <laughs> but I also wanted to show you one last thing. Oh my goodness, okay, look at this. <gasps> Watch. Before. That's usually how before and after pictures go, so I just thought I would do that because it would give you like the most realistic effect. So it's like, oh, frumpy and sad, and then you put on this stuff, and you're like, <gasps> glamorous and happy. Anyway, so um, I wanted to show you a couple of differences with a few of the different glosses that I have. I only have a couple. I realize I feel like I'm silly, like just keep my face like this and talk to you like this. Um, so right now I've got just glossy gloss that's on over um, my, yeah, that's like a birthmark now, gross. I've just been like trying to wipe it off, but <gasps> oh my goodness, look, it won't wipe off. I just started wiping it off because it was so thick that it, like, my little demo I was going to do with, like, wasn't going to work. Um, but now, as you can see, I've got to go use some of the remover to get that off. Anyway, so, I've got glossy gloss on my lips right now, and I also have orchid gloss and pearl gloss. So I'm going to show you kind of what the difference is between them. So watch closely, because it's going to go fast. Keep up. So I just wiped off that gloss. So that was the uh, just the glossy gloss. And then here is what orchid gloss will do to it. Kind of gives it that like pinkish purpley sheen ish, uh, but not so much that it it's like crazy dramatic. It's just enough to change your color that you currently have and give it more um, more wearability. So I can wipe that off now and show you what Pro Gloss does. <gasps> Look, the only thing that came off. <gasps> I'm also kind of giving you a demo, I guess you could say, with uh, Lip Sense by doing this, showing you that it all stays. So Pearl Gloss will do this. So, uh, if you want to look super hot, um, roll out of bed and do your thing, whatever that may be. But uh, I've now just given you a little demo on some of the crap that I have here. Um, I don't have any pearl gloss in stock right now. However, I do have one orchid gloss and then tons of glossy. Um, and then I have three of these, the black eyeliners. And then I've got one, sorry, my bad two sandstone pearls, a candlelight, a uh, mocha java shimmer, and the silver shine, which is that shimmery, silvery one. Um, anyway, so as orders come in and then things come back in stock, um, the more orders I get, the more I can order when orders do come in, because um, that's just how business works, you know? Anyway, if you have any questions, um, anything, like any kind of demo you want me to do, uh, I also have the toasted blush toasted rose blush and um, I'm just not demoing that right now because I have not mastered that but some people have <gasps> yay um, I'm just not the girl yet so anyway any questions please message me if you have any questions about like what colors might look good um, I mean I 
have a couple of customers who have tried out multiple colors and then have just uh, sent stuff back and have exchanged colors. I'll work with you if you don't like something. Um, it's not like too bad, so sad you bought it. Screw you, man. Like, <laughs> buy another color from me. I will I'll exchange it until you're happy with something. So, um, yeah, let me know if you've got questions and thanks for watching. Stay classy.